Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kodabo Space Program, where today we will be taking a look at the most splendiferous, marvelous, and fascinating workshop of the good Professor Phineas Kerbenstein. And, oh my, that's an intro, but yes, we're going to be taking a look at another mod today, so if we go to our testing save here... Uh, the mod in question is the uh, Professor Phineas Kerbenstein's Wondrous Vertical Propulsion Emporium. Oh, I absolutely adore that name and adore the mod itself. Now, it is being made by user Kerbfu, also a good name. And what it does is it adds a steampunk set of parts to the game, which is glorious. I am a huge fan of the steampunk genre, and having that in Kerbal Space Program is just beautiful. So let's take a look at the parts that this adds. Uh, the first thing, of course, is a new capsule, the barrel capsule, which does have an internal view. It's kind of a rough view at the moment, but hopefully as this mod progresses, so will it. Uh, we also have a jetpack here, which is interesting, as it is a fully functional jetpack, but it does require the Kerbal Quest and I believe the Kerbal Attachment System mods as dependencies for it to be useful. Uh, but that is certainly something that is yeah, quite good to have. I mean, when you have those, you have cool things like gliders and jetpacks, so you might as well go and grab those. But this adds a lovely steampunk one, which... Oh, remarkable Kerbal Portable Vertical Propulsion Unit. Impress your friends, get snacks off high shelves, etc. <laughs> I love the descriptions on these most of all. Oh, not just any old rain barrel for this barreled capsule. This marvelous production combines both safety and comfort for the intrepid Voyager. Equipped with a fine viewing port and recently included optional hatch. Splendid! Oh, it's... It's glorious. So let's, let's just pop this little baby right over here. It's going to be useless where it is, but hey, it's there. And so for propulsion, we have some very interesting things indeed. Now, you do have a copper fuel line, which is essentially just a normal fuel line, but, you know, textured copper. Uh, same with monopropellant rockets. We have a gimbaled monopropellant rockets, which is quite a cool little thing. Uh, now, we do have a launch escape rocket as well, which is very, very similar indeed to the new escape rocket that is provided from the latest asteroid update. Serves the same purpose. And, uh, of course, a uh, <laughs> oh, lovely description on those, too. Now, we also have some solid rocket boosters, which are gunpowder-based. Ah, lovely. <laughs> okay, gotta love those. That is one of the cool things with this mod. It doesn't just take the normal resources, it adds its own. Now, they are basically just carbon copies of the existing resources, for the most part, not entirely. Uh, but they are, you know, they're, they're fun. Uh, so instead of just solid rocket fuel, these are gunpowder. And that's just glorious. Now, we do have a monopropellant tank here to go along with our gimbaled monopropellant rocket. We do also have a pusher propeller, which if you want to use this, you do actually need the fire spitter propeller plane and helicopter parts mod. My word, what is it with the long names today? <laughs> but it is cool. It is, uh, well, it's a, it's a propeller. It, it creates thrust and uses whale oil and needs a air intake. I'll get to the whale oil in a second. That's also why I kind of skipped over this thing up here. Now, we have a spherical tank here, which uh, holds oxidizer, so it is a gas container. Uh, then down here, we have a whale oil barrel. So this is basically this mod's version of the liquid fuel is whale oil. Then we also have a water barrel, which is, well, well, it's a, it's a water barrel. And the water barrel goes along with this, a boiler tank. Uh, because one of the ways of propelling your rocket in this mod is by steam, using the steam rocket nozzle. Pressure and temperature resistant expansion chamber and engine bell for the use of superheated steam for thrust. Good times. Now, you require water into a steam boiler, which is over on one of these tabs. I'm forgetting which one at the moment. And that steam gets stored in the boiler tank, which then goes to the steam rocket nozzle. 
Definitely a uh, interesting progression of things, but it is quite cool. Now we also have a whale oil rocket, which uses oxidizer from your sphere tank and whale oil from your whale oil barrel, uh, which would be very similar to your sort of standard rocket. Uh, and it is, well, basically just that. And so if we move on to control, we have Cog Jeb, which requires Mech Jeb if you want to use it. And it's basically a Mech Jeb attachment, but steampunk based. Uh, we have the Gyroscopic Directional Discombobulator, which is just essentially, you know, an SAS system, but still cool. I like it. Uh, a whole steampunk vibe. Uh, that's actually a general theme for a lot of this mod. It's steampunk skinned and themed stuff that already exists in the game but makes it cooler because it's it's all copper and wood it's fun and then we have reaction control thrusters which is just like these rcs thrusters down here but made with some copper tubing all good times now we get a bit more interesting in structural where we have a barrel adapter top oh though that's far too large my Word, look at that thing. That is, that is beautiful. Let's pop you down there. <laughs> oh, you could build a house on top of this thing. And you also have cargo barrels, uh, a normal size one, a large one, and then we have a ooh, cargo barrel tunnel, and then a large cargo barrel tunnel. So you, oh my word, look at that. So you could uh, attach multiples of these for larger cargo bays which is quite cool. Now we have the steam cog here, which uh, is just, uh, it's huzzah for cogs, as it says in the description. <laughs> and then we have other steam, a uh, half steam cog here. These are various pieces to strap onto your ship to make it look cooler. We do have copper struts, always fun. Uh, a stack decoupler, which is well, really nothing much different from our normal stack decouplers, though I just had it glitch inside the barrel. Uh, my fault on that one, but okay, fair enough. Uh, then we have the radial rocket separator with a slight steampunk theme, a girder adapter, which is also quite cool, and then we have a variety of copper girders here. We have a heat shield as well, which is, ooh, let's pop it down, uh, what the heck, let's put it up here. If we could, hold on, there, what the heck, right there. <laughs> Uh, and then a whole cage, which is intriguing, another whole cage, large pole, a leg strut, which is just glorious if you want to make some sort of weird steampunk sci-fi looking thing. Uh, we have a monopropellant rocket decoupler, another decoupler for fun use. My word, this is becoming a monstrosity on here. Uh, then another pod strut, very cool looking. A side strut, we then have small pole, a steam structural panel, and the whale oil rocket decoupler here as well, and that is the end of those things. Quite a nice list of additions, I enjoy it. Now in aerodynamics, we do have some wonderful barrel cones for you to pop on top of your ship to uh, give it a more sleek aerodynamic look. And we also do have fun canards, which are basically sails, and then a uh, large straight wing, and we have a large winglet. There we go. <laughs> oh my word, this thing. And then we have roof cones as well, which are uh, just different styled cones, which <laughs> amuse me greatly. Uh, and then additional small canards, small straight wings, small winglet. Uh, very, very cool little aerodynamic bits. In utility, we... Oh, no, here they are. I was about to say, I was like, I know there's things in here. But all this stuff from uh, the other mods that are necessary kind of popped in first. But we have a barrel docking port. So you can keep with the steampunk vibe and still have your docking port. Then instead of a normal battery, we have an acid battery, which is its way of uh, producing power. And this is one of the slight bugs in it. If you notice at an angle, it's green just in the center, but at the side and bottom angle, uh, the whole jar is green, but uh, a minor bug, a minor graphical glitch, hopefully one that will be fixed in the future. But that is how you produce energy in this. Uh, then we have a barrel chute, much like a normal chute, 
but, you know, from a barrel. Wow, that thing is actually much smaller than I thought it would be, huh? Interesting. We have a coach lamp, so you have some lighting as well for your ships. And then an electrical generator, which uses whale oil and oxidizer. So instead of the acid battery, which, ooh, let's look at that for that, just produces electricity like a normal battery. Or not produces electricity, stores electricity, rather. I'm misspeaking here. It uh, stores like normal. And then the electrical generator is quite cool because it uses resources of the whale oil and oxidizer. And we also have a steam solar generator, uh, which outputs electrical charge. And uh, then we have a spider leg here, which is this mod's version of landing legs. Let's just pop one right there and extend. There we go. And that just kind of pops out that way. We do have a steam inspired landing wheel. Very good. And then a larger landing strut. Let's extend that one as well. Very, oh, those landing legs look very sci-fi sort of evil, and I like it. <laughs> and then last, but certainly not least, we have science. Now, scientific instrumentation is a pretty much exactly the same as all of these things, just with a steampunk vibe. We have the accelerometer, a barometer, a gravimeter, and a thermometer, all just with you know, a different sort of steampunk vibe. I love the thermometer. It's just a magnifying glass over a regular old thermometer. And then for communication, we have the voice transmogrification set, which is, oh, oh, wonderful. I love the names of everything in this mod. It is just glorious. And what we're going to do is attempt to make a functioning rocket. So if we just hit new and make another barrel capsule here, I'm just gonna try for something simple. I'll, I gotta admit, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. I have played around with this a little bit and it's a little complicated because of the mix of, you know, the different things. So we're just gonna make a whale oil and a spherical tank for a whale oil rocket because the steam stuff, I'm still a little bit iffy on. I, I, I'm having a little bit of trouble figuring out those exactly, uh, but whale oil should be fine. So if we pop in oxidizer, this is gonna be a small rocket. Oh, we already have that barrel there. Pop that there. And just a whale oil rocket. That should be good. And if we add to it, uh, no, I want aerodynamics. There we are. Let's uh, add ourselves some, ni oh no, we'll go with a small winglet and there we go, around the door. Excellent, kind of an odd placement up there, but I'm cool with, oh my, that's not where I want it at all. Uh, there we go. Bit more symmetrical there. Excellent, and we will add onto it some, hold on a minute, that's what I'm looking for, the radial separators. We will pop these right here and add on some gunpowder solid rocket boosters. Now, let's just use the, well, let's go with the large ones. Oh my, those are, those are large. I actually haven't taken a look at the large sized ones yet. So that is, that is beautiful. I like it. Let's add some struts into this thing just so it doesn't fall apart. And there we go. There we go, excellent. And last but certainly not least, a non-steampunk launch stability enhancer. <laughs> oh, I love it, it's, it's glorious. And let's just take this thing for a flight real quick. It's probably going to explode and crash and burn, but you know what? I'm cool with that, I am perfectly cool with that. <laughs> I, I'm really having a lot of fun building with this mod so far. Uh, I, I'm just enthralled by the amusing steampunk atmosphere to it. Uh, but let's actually take a look at the IVA in here. And uh, like I said before with this, it is very sort of low texture at the moment, but it is still being worked on. I like the electric candles on the sides for light. We've got a little telescope there. And I just noticed that book. I. Oh my, what does that say? I can't read that, it's too pixelated. Hmm, I, I didn't notice that book last time I was checking this out. 
But, cool, I like it. Let's just turn on our SAS, which I forgot to put on, and launch in three, two, one. Godspeed! Ah, uh, there goes the gunpowder. And you'll notice it is here on the resources, the gunpowder, whale oil, and oxidizer. So it is the fun new resources for this particular mod pack, especially the whale oil, of course, which I am intrigued to see how well this does. That gunpowder has quite the slow burn. I'm actually surprised at how long these are lasting at the moment. They're not even halfway through, and I haven't turned on the whale oil yet. Wow, that's actually impressive. For such a small craft, we're getting much, much higher up into space than I assumed we would, which is kind of cool. Hmm, let's actually take a look at the map real quick. We... We probably won't be able to get into orbit. No, we won't be able to get into orbit, but... Oh, yeah, we're almost out there. We are getting some heat effects, though. I love the wooden a cone on the top, and it, that always amuses me whenever I look at these rockets on here. Okay, we're about to drop this. And... There we go. Really? Oh! Oh, I did not notice that that one releases up like that, and we have... We've run into it. That is beautiful. Oh my, okay. I did not realize that. I, I had never... I've been using these sort of steeple tall ones, not the rounded ones, which apparently release. That is that is interesting to know. <laughs> and we do have a functioning whale oil rocket now, which does have some vectoring ability. You can kind of see it moving back and forth as I move the arrow keys. And yeah, it's just hilarious to see this thing of copper and wooden barrels flying into space. Oh my god, we are actually way higher than I thought we would be. <laughs> that is that is impressive. We wow. Wow. This tiny little ship was able to do this. I'm not even going to try and get into an orbit. I'm just having fun burning all the way out with this thing. Oh my. Oh, oh, it's going to leave the Kerbal system. And run into some asteroids. Oh my, and it's closing in. And out of fuel. There we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> this rocket, tiny, tiny little rocket, almost got into an, a good enough position for Moho. That... That is impressive. Though now, now poor Calamony Kerman is going to die up here because I did not attach any electrical systems or, <laughs> oh, any form of life support whatsoever. I'm sorry, my friend, but you will have to deal with this barrel coffin uh, for the rest of eternity. But yes, this this is just a hilarious mod. I am, I am in love with it. It is just glorious. So let's actually revert flight back to the vehicle assembly building. Uh, to finish up here, uh, this is this is a very very cool mod. If you're wanting to get sort of a different feel to the game, a bit less technology, a bit more just randomness, then definitely give this a go. I, I do want to try out the jetpack real quick, so let's just add a small little <laughs> a stacked a coupler on top. There we go. That'll be perfect. And then we just put pop that right there. I want to try out this jetpack, so let's launch. I want to see what this little steam jetpack can do, if I can even get it to work. I haven't actually tested this jetpack at all yet, so I don't know what's going to happen. Whoa, my! That... <laughs> that launched with a bit more force than I assumed it would. Okay, no, I don't want the decoupler. I want you. Let's equip... Oh my, oh my. <laughs> uh, let's roll off of this thing. Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, all right, let's... How can I... Hmm. Let's... Okay, it has RCS. That's good to know. And... <laughs> we're moving along the ground. Oh, and we lost the pilot. Oh no, we're still attached. Now we've lost the pilot. Okay, so if you attach it better and oh my oh that was our Kerbal. <laughs> oh oh no no that's oh my 
Oh, oh my. So, if you know how to use a jetpack, give it a try. It's a cool little steam jetpack. I do not know how to use it, so let's go back to the vehicle assembly building and wrap this up. Once again, this has been the Professor Phineas Kerbenstein's wondrous vertical propulsion emporium. <laughs> Definitely go and check out the forum link in the description as well as the spaceport link for you to download it. Uh, you can see some cool images of the amazing rockets that people have built with this mod so far. Uh, it, it's just amazing. These really cool steam rockets and oh, uh, the, the gunpowder boosters seem quite powerful. Like that little ship we got up earlier, just it amazed me how high it got up into space. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely go and check this out. It is hilarious good fun and just a very well put together mod. Definitely go check it out. And hopefully, this will keep getting developed. I cannot wait to see what will come next. I know that there are additional parts that the uh, maker is wanting to work on. And I really would love to see this barrel capsule have a higher resolution EVA. I just would love to see what it would look like. And of course, the potential for future capsules. That would be interesting. I don't know if those are planned, but it could be fun. But yeah, go and check this out. It is it is a hilarious good time. And I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And of course, that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.